Honey is a good source of oxidants, has medical purposes, and aids in digestion. But has it occurred to you that bees are becoming an endangered species? Dr. Deborah Amolen from Makere University's College of Veterinary Medicine and More Resources and Biosecurity says a combination of poor farming practices and climate change is decimating the bee population. As temperatures keep increasing or decreasing, some diseases emerge among the insects. They also have diseases, especially viruses. There are factors that are caused by, by human activity, like pesticides. So agrochemicals are a big threat to the, life, to the survival of honeybees. Rapid developments in urban areas are also reducing the number of bee colonies. People are clearing environments, the bushes that used to be there, that some of the wild bees, the wild flowers that used to be there. Like if you look at okay, Kampala alone, the city is expanding. Where are the bees surviving from? And none of you is creating what we call uh, pollinator gardens. Launched under a project titled Adaptive Environmental Monitoring Networks for East Africa, Makere University is aiming at deploying a network of data gathering and monitoring stations with applications to bee protection and fruit fly control. In Teso, we do a lot of mangoes and oranges, or the citrus. But time and again, fruit flies are a major challenge. And here comes the scientists to try to solve the problem of the fruit fly by spraying. And these fruits are sprayed specifically at the time of flowering, which is a great threat to our bees. I'm a beekeeper, and time and again you feel like crying because these bees have to visit the flowers, but the flowers are sprayed. And that is the reason as to why we are realizing very few colonies in Teso today. The five-year project is a partnership between the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, Makere University, and other institutes under a grant from the Norwegian Agency for Development Cooperation. We are going to develop technology that can automate the process of monitoring bees. And then the other part of this project is also monitoring fruit flies uh, for purposes of controlling their population on farms and in the wild. The average Ugandan who loves mangoes should care. If you have ever bought a mango from the market and it, had, it was, looked good but you cut it and you found it rotten inside, that is fruit flies. The average Ugandan who eats honey should care because we will lead to, uh, the, our efforts would lead to more uh, bees being able to create honey. The project will also guide bee farmers on how to get better yields. For now we are thinking the fruit belts. So already there is a, people are thinking of Nwoya and then we are thinking maybe in eastern Soroti area because you know there is a food factory there. The scientists also encourage the general population to help stem the tide of declining colonies of bees by planting strips of wild flowers around their homes and in the community. Gillian Nantume, NTV Weekend Edition.